Hey guys, this is your Trusted Weather Forecast, and today we're going to be talking about Invest 95L that will likely become Tropical Storm Zeta, impact Cuba, Southern Florida, and potentially some Gulf Coast states. Before we get into this, I'd like to ask you to subscribe. About 75% of you who watch my videos are not subscribed, so please click the subscribe button if you like weather-related content, hit the notification bell if you do not want to miss a single upload. Also, share this with friends and family, and like the video so to get this out to as many people as possible. Let's get right into this. You can see Hurricane Epsilon will be heading towards Canada, but narrowly missing it. But the main show for this video is Invest 95L, which the National Hurricane Center gives a 70% chance of formation through five days. A tropical depression will likely form over the next day or two before impacting Cuba and moving into the Gulf of Mexico. Let's get right into the models. Intensity guidance for Invest 95L is pretty consistent. About half the models have it going into tropical storm intensity, with the highest intensity being around a 65 mile per hour tropical storm. And half the models, the other half, do not have it going into tropical storm strength and remaining a depression. Both of those outcomes are equally probable to happen. These are some of the potential paths it could take. You can see models are pretty consistent with the bulk of them making a first landfall in Cuba and then hitting Florida. However, we cannot rule out a Gulf Coast landfall like in Louisiana to Alabama as a small portion of the models show. However, a more likely landfall point would be Florida. This is a GFS run from 12Z. And you can see this model specifically shows a potential low-end tropical storm around October 25th, which is Sunday, impacting Cuba, where that L997 is. And then lingering around Cuba and shooting westward while slowly weakening into October 27th. And as it enters the Gulf, it starts strengthening more with a pressure of 994. The lower the number, the stronger the system and it ends up making landfall around the panhandle of Florida as a low-end tropical storm, according to this model run. A hurricane is not expected. These are current sea surface temperatures in the Atlantic, and you can see they're starting to cool down in the Gulf as we enter fall into winter. The Caribbean is still pretty warm, 29 to 30 degrees Celsius waters, but in the Gulf, it is now widespread 27 to 28 degrees Celsius waters, and along the immediate U.S. coast, it drops below 24 degrees Celsius. So this storm may not be able to strengthen as quickly if it goes to the Gulf, particularly around Louisiana to Alabama. Question of the day for this video is, are you an outdoor or an indoor person? Outdoor meaning you like to outdoors, you like to go outside and hike. Indoor meaning you like to stay inside and hibernate inside. Which kind of person are you? Comment below and I'll go over your answers. That's the trusted weather forecast for upcoming likely tropical storm Zeta. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment if you want. Goodbye.